In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use an LDR light dependent resistor. For this tutorial, you'll need an Arduino, a breadboard, an LDR resistor, a 1K resistor, three jumper wires, mail to mail. Three, two, one. A photoresistor or light dependent resistor, often abbreviated as LDR, is a resistor which changes its resistance based on the amount of light it receives. You can think about this as a pot meter, but instead of turning the knob, the amount of light changes the resistance. A disadvantage of an LDR is that it wears off over time. So a measurement you do today, like here on this multimeter with 1.7 kilo ohm resistance, will change over time to maybe a low, lower or higher resistance because the material on the LDR wears off. You have to keep that in mind when you are building a certain circuit. As I said before, the amount of resistance currently is 1700 ohms. I'm going to change this by using a flashlight. This flashlight will shine on the LDR and as you can see the resistance drops. Now when I cover the LDR, you see that the resistance will increase. We are going to build a circuit where we are going to translate this resistance into a value on the Arduino. So the first step is to add the LDR to the breadboard. The second step is to add our 1K resistor to the breadboard and make sure it's in the same column as the last leg of our LDR. After this, we're going to connect the power wires. The red wire goes from 5 volts to the first leg of the LDR. The ground is connecting to the last leg of our resistor. In order to read the value of the LDR, we connect the green wire from the same column as the two legs of the resistor and the LDR together to analog zero. So let's have a look at the code. Well, there is no library needed for this tutorial, so that's fine. So if you look at pin uh, line number 17, there's the LDR pin, which is defined as analog zero. It's the pin where we connected the green wire to. We have a variable called LDRVEL, which is the value measured by the LDR, or on the LDR, I should say. The setup is pretty straightforward. We initialize the serial monitor, and also the loop is pretty straightforward. We just read the value on the LDR pin and print it to the serial monitor. So we get a value between 0 and 1023. So I start uploading, and since the program is very small, it goes pretty fast. And if I open the serial monitor, you see the value being plotted. So what I do now, I cover the LDR with my hand. And as you can see, the value gets lower. And when I use the flashlight again on the LDR, you see that it gets higher. So even though I'm shining with my flashlight, it does not reach the 1023, probably because my flashlight is not bright enough or that my LDR is quite a little bit old. But you can see you can change the value of the LDR depending on the amount of light. So for the second example, I've made some minor changes. So here on line 19, I've added the LED pin variable, which is assigned to the LED built-in. And then if we continue on line 23, I set the pin mode of this LED pin to output. Then inside the loop, there is an if statement, this one, which is kind of new. Here we check if the LDR value, so the value we've measured on the LDR is smaller than 200. If so, then we make the LED pin high and turn it on. Or, if it's not, we turn it off. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like when I've uploaded this to my Arduino. So on my Arduino, this tiny LED here marked with L is the built-in LED. This blinking one is the receiving LED for uh, the serial monitor, so it's 
keeping blinking. But if we have a close look on this L marked LED, it's now turned off. But when I cover with my hand the LDR, you see it's on. When I remove my hand, it goes off. So now you turn the LED on and off based on the light on the LDR. That's it for this episode. I see you in the next one. Three, two, one. So now you know how to control the built-in LED with an LDR. That's it for this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.